Alright, well, hello viewers, and welcome back to uh, Wargame Red Dragon. I'm your host, Pew Pew Choo Choo, once again. And today, uh, evidently, we're doing Tucson One again, and we're brawling it out in Sai Kong and Lei Tao Island. So, I mean, um, well, welcome back to the game, folks, for, for one. It looks like we're going to be fighting a few more armored offensives, and, and really we're just going to be brawling it out with the Chinese guys over here. So, I mean, uh, I've, I've, I mean, I've done a, like, like, it's, it's pretty much exam season where I am right here, and I've, uh, I've finished all of my exams personally, so I'm, I'm, to, to, to be, to be, like, to be frank, I'm just pissed drunk right now, and I, um, the, the, like, like, I'm just doing this, let's say, just because, I mean, it's, it's a nice form of, of doing things but anyhow we're going to continue the series like such so I, I apologize in advance um, anyhow uh, evidently we're being attacked on the wide front um, Susan Wan here is still the main uh, battle but it looks like they're trying to sneak a naval marine deck around the sides and um, they're starting to move some airplanes over here now I believe due to the fact that the game is programmed um, how the game is programmed if I put my naval carrier fleet here um, it'll have to force the helicopter are right all the way around so I think I'll do that and I suppose we'll just fight the battle starting with Susan Wong and we'll just really go from here so let's begin and it looks like they can only deploy in one sector um, it looks like they have like a ton of infantry some tanks and some helicopters armed with rocket spots so that will be interesting and this battle really should have started by now but I don't know why what happened there earlier so we'll just deploy and we'll go with this um excuse me for a second here ah oh, that is good stuff um let's go with this so um we have we can deploy new territories which is a new thing and it, like I mean evidently they've been pushed back quite a little bit here so um, I think, I mean, we're still on the defense, and we're defending against a pretty normal um, array of troops right now, so that's not too bad, but I'll do a standard de deploy here, where we're really just garrisoning these sectors, and uh, actually, I think I'll replace this one with a, with a helicopter one, but yeah, we only have to whittle down them to 500 points, so this shouldn't be that bad of a battle. Um, they're mainly down to infantry APCs is the thing, so I think I'll do with a, I'll do a standard deploy here, and I'll get my guys to garrison the building blocks that we, we've already seen before, and we'll really just go from there. So yeah, I think we'll just start the battle as such, and really just try to grind down these guys. Um, namely, we get access to this little valley area over here, and this is just an absolute great area to control this, um this sector so I'll put a whole bunch of tanks up on top of this hill and they can control this alleyway right here and then following that I can get some other vehicles to control this lane too um, I think I'll just pluck down a challenger core right away here and coming from that we have some tracked rapiers to support our guys I'll buy one each for one location and back here I think we'll need some more tanks uh, fortunately we don't have any more tanks so um, it's time for APCs with recoilless rifles so um, we'll try to protect our zones like some but uh yeah we'll pretty much just see how this so uh, this goes and I, I think we'll I think we'll do pretty well so I'll deploy my troops and we will get this battle started now I'm just trying to say words so that I, I don't have any gaps here um, anyhow the battle has started uh, our tanks will face the enemy and wherever they come they will just fight a barrage of their troops Oh crap, I didn't f I forgot about the planes. Oh well, shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, evidently, I mean, these these enemy vehicles are be just being, like, destroyed by our tanks. Oh no, missile, no! That hit my tank. It's okay though, because it did small damage. Should have some helicopters, so I mean, that's not, that's not terrible. And that unit is panicked, so the second little rocket thing shouldn't hit anyways um so overall life is i mean life is pretty good right now and yeah i mean they they seem to only have infantry here and they seem to be bringing more of them these little like recall this rifle thing seems to fire pretty fast as well so i mean everything is pretty much good at this point 
the AI from from what I can tell doesn't like to gear like ungarrison its troops very much meaning that if uh, if we're able to hold on here we should be able to just demolish whatever APCs that they send us and these uh, little recoilless rifles they, they're not bad in themselves and I mean they're not great either but for 500 points they should be pretty easy the thing is that they're easy to take out due to our uh, rocket artillery and stuff and such like that. Well, Tracked Ape here is going to destroy those helicopter-borne troops because they have a few of them too. And our tanks are going to destroy these APCs. Um, one really limiting thing here is just due to the fact that uh, they present the point counts to be this low. I probably shouldn't be moving these challenges right now, but I will anyways. Um, one thing that they do with these point counts is that because it's only up to 500, we have to whittle through like a ton of these battles just to get to that like 24,000 cap or whatever it is for like the amount of troops that we're supposed to destroy. Anyhow, it's kind of an issue, but I mean, oh well, uh, we can do that. It's not, oh, they're bringing up some of these ZTZ-88s. These tanks may be a bit of a problem, but it's okay, we can destroy these. We can sock them good, I'll get my challengers to help them out. Oh, they're bringing, they're bringing them in as single packs for whatever reason. Or maybe not. Maybe they will get our Shefton tanks. My challengers are coming in here, so these guys should be able to just direct these guys. Yeah, it looks like these guys are doing a pretty good- Oh no, they took one loss. Oh, I see, their reload speed is really, really slow. But they are just absolutely destroying these uh, these other tanks. And it looks like that is pretty much that battle. So that's, 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 that's good. Um, so 500, 660 points worth of deaths, we suffered 370, and I mean, overall, I mean, their troops are getting whittled down. I believe the game just assigns some damage to these guys anyways, so that's good. Oh, uh, so that's, that's fine. That'll, that'll add to their fifth defeat, and in addition, that'll lower the morale of other troops, so that's good. Um... The interesting battles here will be uh, over here inside um, the areas where we only have militia infantry and the, the sparse troops in general. I mean, over here, they're attacking with the 72 tank regiment. So this will be interesting, mainly because it's going to be planes with cluster bombs and stuff against militia infantrymen with rocket launchers against tanks. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm really just going to see how this goes. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to absolutely annihilate these guys. But you know what? I'm not. I'm not particularly sure about this. Um, but hey, you know what? It works, and I think we'll be able to just annihilate these guys. So it'll be fine. So I'm gonna cap off these three zones mainly because they give us a whole bunch of points and it's a reinforcement zone. I'm going to need my bombers, so I'm gonna buy them right away, and I think those are gonna be my premier units. Um, territorials we're gonna need a lot of inside this area, so I think I'll just garrison the buildings here and here right away. And these territorials are militia infantrymen, so they're not particularly useful. But this area is just entirely of cities and stuff, so if we are able to garrison that right away, that will just absolutely devastate them. Um, with that said, what I think I'll do is just this. I'll just buy a whole horde of these guys and put them on the road so that they can move really, really easily. And we will just begin the game. I'll move it to very slow and I'll get them to blitz new territories over here. So yeah, I mean, life is good there. And these guys are just going to drop off their passengers so they'll cap off their zones. We get air support now and I will send them in to fly over new territories and swarm that area. I th actually, I think I'll, I think I'll move them back just because that's a better location. And then we get to watch the whole stream of APCs, which seem to be really outsized um, in terms of the buildings. And we'll just move them. Oh crap! Enemy tanks! Drop, drop, drop your infantry! No! And our infantry will just brawl it out with the tanks from here on out, and they will hopefully just destroy everything. I'm actually not so worried about the APCs because the AP seems to seems to regenerate for whatever reason. So our guys will just brawl it out. I'll call in my bombers now, and hopefully they'll sweep out those tanks. But either way, I mean, um, militia infantry against tanks in an urban setting. This will give us a ton of points. 
Um, so we'll do that. With CTZ 88, they should be worth at least 60 points each. Come on, drop your bombs. Your bams. Yeah, and that just absolutely just wrecks up the day of those tanks. It's like that Kanye West song, like uh, Black Skinned Head, where he just, it just, it just, it just, it just fucks up your day. So we'll we'll just continue this, and I mean, it's only 800 points. We have militia infantrymen, so this should fly by really, really fast. And I mean, we are just going to continue this rookie assault with uh, infantrymen just because it's it's apparently really effective. So yeah, um, these militia infantrymen should be only worth like 5 points. And so long as they can just keep the, uh, the enemies here, they should just absolutely do a ton of damage in comparison to what they're worth. And that is pretty much the theme of this battle, just doing damage and just absolutely wrecking these guys with bombs. And everything is pretty much panicked over here. These bombs are probably going to take out a few more tanks. And this will be a pretty fast battle as well. So this will be good. This will be a nice experience in just wrecking tanks. And I mean, these are the expensive, like, 60 points tanks as well. So this will be... Oh no, they're out of rockets too. Ooh, that is bad. Maybe they can take out... No, these PZDs are also... I think they'll just be meat shields from now on, because I don't think these infantrymen can do much more, aside from absorb the bullets with their bodies right now. Uh, more so because they're out rocket launcher rounds, but they only need 180 points to win. So I think if I drop one more bomber on the central town plaza here, uh, we should be uh, pretty much just done. Um, so I'll send in these bombers, and hopefully they can just wreck these tanks. Do I even have uh, phantoms? Uh, I don't think I will. You can, in theory, I mean, I can use these phantoms to take out enemy uh, ground forces with their mini guns, but I don't think it would be that effective. And there we go. So that is that battle, and that will destroy a good amount of their tanks. Did we, we, we lost a whole bunch of territories, but it's okay, because they lost 22 out of their uh, 32 tanks. That, that took me quite a while to realize, but that's okay, because that demolished that troop as well and it forces it retreat, so now it'll have less morale. Um, anyhow, we'll continue forwards, and it looks like we fight the Marine battle between Commando Marines, the Royal Marines, and the regular Marines of the Chinese for the supremacy on this map, so I think that'll be fun. Um, where are my Harriers? Because I recall those being really crucial. I think I'll bring them in over here. And uh, let's see how this goes. So we'll deploy and we will fight them. So they're mainly armed with these small town APCs. They, they evidently have one tank, but that's pretty much it. Um, they can deploy in the Susan Wan area. I'm not really sure about why they can do that. Because, I mean, that is technically our zone. But it's okay, because uh, we, we should be able to destroy them anyways. So let's go. Um, you know what? I, I think I'd get, I I went with a really, really heavy marine deck last time. And I think I'll do... Why, why can't I move? I, no, APC. Why, why don't you move? No, it disappeared. It disappeared. There we go. So, so I think I'll do the same thing. I'll just cap these three zones. And I'll put marine infantry pretty much inside every single one of the towns. And that'll allow us to control this area pretty much. So we'll control this area and that'll cover that. Um, I've got a few APCs to control this area. And mainly it's going to be, unfortunately, more so of the same stuff where it's just area control. So that is sort of that. Um, so let's begin this battle, and we'll get everybody to the... Oh no, there are a ton of APCs over here. These... Our, our planes really need to handle this. And remember that I had to launch these guys in an orderly formation, so I'll do that. Unfortunately, we only have five of these guys, so we'll just let our Milan teams and whatever harass these guys and take them out and really just see what we can do. These Milan teams fire really slowly, but when they wreck things, they wreck things good. Boom, boom, boom. Where are my Harriers? There they are. Harrier spam, go. Oh, they have the Li Chan elite infantry too, so this will be really nice when these Harriers come in. They are just going to, like, just fuck up everything on this road. There we go. Nicely done, people. 
So they are just obliterating these infantry. Oh, oh crap, we have to fight to like 2600 points worth of this crap too. Um, in that case, I think I'll reinforce this guy with like a single squad of infantrymen. I think that'll be, I think that'll be enough to counter their spam. Um, so we'll do that, and this Harrier should make another run. Oh no, I can't see the APC anymore. I'll just have to assign a general target to where. No, let's just, 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 just get away. Fly, 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 Harrier, fly. Get away, get away. There, there. It's gone now. Okay, so that's good. Um, I think we'll just finish this battle as it is. I mean, we had to fight to 3,000 points worth of stuff, and I, I, I don't actually think we have that much um, infantrymen present on the map, but that's okay. Oh, oh, naval craft again. I see how it goes. Oh no, they're shooting at my vehicle. Oh no! Oh. Holy crap, they're moving through. They're moving through the underpass. Where are they going? Our marines can actually target these naval craft and in the multiplayer, like I I'm actually really rather surprised the Foschimager infantry can take down boats like it's nobody's business. So maybe we can actually take down these naval craft with a fair amount of ease here. And oh wow, we managed to pick off a unit with 100 points over there. I mean, yeah, these it, it's surprisingly effective what uh, Harriers can do against these things. So we'll unleash the beast on them, and we'll get the planes to make another run here. Um, probably not that great of an idea, but we'll do so anyways. Harrier spam. Evidently, they take out a single unit that has five points of militia infantry worth, so I think that was definitely worth our time in doing, but uh, um, I think I'll call some more infantry over here. Um, I, I honestly didn't know that the boats can actually go through the little canals here, but uh, it works. Um, oh, and are they on land over here too? I don't know where these boats are, but the point is that they exist. Um, but I mean, it's surprisingly effective. I hope our naval marines can take out the. Oh no, they're just out of reach. They're like they're like the remote control on couches. Oh, there they are. It's gonna hit them. It's gonna do a small amount of damage. Um, our planes are probably going to come in here and wreck them. These guys are semi-panicked, so that's good. And hopefully this gives us quite a bit of uh, monies is worth of things so that I, I really want them to do. They have like 5 point infantry on them. What type of marine setup has like 5 point infantry? That's just retarded. Come on Harriers, you can do it. Just destroy these boats. Yeah, for whatever reason, rocket launchers are... A, like, they, they seem to be the absolute best thing to wreck infantry or uh, boats. Mainly due to the fact that the boats just can't respond to them. Oh, 25 point unit, there we go. We're making some big bucks right now. And yeah, I mean, in the multiplayer too, I mean, it's the same thing. Uh, evidently, it's really good if you can have some planes just wrecking these guys. Come on, one more plane. Or one more missile. One more thing needs to hit this boat and it's dead. Reload rocket fire? No, that missed. Come on, Harry, you can do it. Fly over here. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. There you go. Boom. And that sinks their entire fleet of these landing ships. Speaking of these boats, these boat, uh, these boat carcasses can actually block the canals on select maps. I've seen it done in multiplayer, but I haven't seen it done in campaign. Um, the point is, is that they can actually block those canals, and it actually is pretty effective. So, um, I think I'll get my garrison to to move forward here, and I think I'll just speed up the game and see what we can find, because we still have to destroy an absolute crap load of points is worth of stuff from them. Um, logistics boat for them, and over here, where exactly are these landing craft? I can't see them. Yeah, no, that is really strange. Alright, well, I mean, our Harriers will dominate this map, so I think I'll just keep our troops on... I, I can't feel my face right now. Um, I, I'll just keep our troops over here inside this village, and we will um, just keep all of these elite infantry here for now. And when something happens, we'll just bring them in to, uh, to brawl it out with the enemy and, and absolutely destroy them.
So yeah, we'll do that. These guys should probably drop their Royal Marines and um, see what we can find in terms of an enemy. 